Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to the very first episode of the Western television show titled Tape, and it stars David McLean. By the late 1950s and the early 1960s, the Western television show had really changed personalities, and this TV show has more the personality of something like, oh, The Rebel, or Wanted Dead or Alive, or Have Done Will Travel. And in this episode, titled Hometown, they couldn't have picked a better cast of supporting characters. The villain of the week is James Coburn. He's in jail, and he's about to be hanged for a despicable crime that he committed, rightfully so. And this is a very early episode of anything that James is in. It's very early in his career, and he was yet to skyrocket to fame as Brit in The Magnificent Seven. And he appeared in a lot of Western television shows, including Wanted Dead or Alive. Also, there's the great Royal Dano, who put James Coburn's character in jail. Royal was in everything, including Rifleman, every Western television show you could imagine, and lots of Western movies. And he is a great character actor. You know it's always going to be a fantastic episode of anything that he's in. Now, David McLean's character, Tate, is a gunfighter, sometimes bounty hunter, and he has something very interesting about him. He has a disabled left arm. He lost the use of it in the Civil War, and he can only use his right arm. This is a pretty good Western television series, and this is a great episode. You're going to enjoy it, and it's brought to you free by westernsontheweb.com. Hundreds of Western films to watch free online. Get ready for tape. Here it comes, and we'll see you after the show. Charlie Sims. What's your name, mister? That's none of your business, son. You know him, Charlie? It's been a long time. Been set before the war. Step out where I can see you, mister. I don't... I don't know. Are you going to a hanging, mister? Are you the one? Take him away before he gets hurt, friend. Oh, then you are him. That's right, son. I'm the one that's come to help Morty Tall hang your brother. Yeah. Yeah, Tate for sure. I guess I was too young to remember when you went away. I was only 15, I guess. I... Fast enough, Morty. You're home, son. 
What do you think of it? The same. A little smaller, a little dirtier. Just a memory, Morty. It doesn't exist anymore. Mary's still here. Memories of her. Just Jory stopped me in the hills last night. I had to kill him. Our telegraph operator's got a big mouth. Come on up. I'll show you where Mary is. You gave me my life once. I haven't forgotten. I'd like to pay the debt and be on my way. Let's go hang a man. You can kiss me goodbye tomorrow morning, boy. That's when we hang him. There was a time I liked him. I'm glad you come back, Morty. It's getting kind of lonesome. You want to go eat now? I kind of thought I'd go fishing. Any of them come yet? No. I guess they're gathering up at Charlie Sims' place. Funny thing, he ain't Ken, but he'll lead him in. You remember him? Him and you both. How are you? I'm gonna go fishing, Woody. Kind of late in the day for that. What do you want me to say? That I've got a wife and family? I've got a wife and family, Morty. I want to keep alive. Go crawl into your hole. Morty, you took your pay in the summer, mister. Now it's winter. You either in it or crawl out of my sight. Tyson, come on! All right, Morty. Even the Lord must hate a fair with a friend. I guess neither of us have changed, Morty. You're still pretty mean inside. We could have used him. Another shotgun could have kept us alive. Unless you decide to walk away, too. Do you know how many there's going to be? No. Maybe six. Maybe a dozen. There could be more. Jory's got a lot of kinfolk. They may not like him, nor what he's done. But they ain't going to see him hang. Will they die for it? Never knows both. Well, how about the rest of the town? Come on now. I'll show you the pig. You ain't real good this week, ain't you, boy? She killed two men. A boy and a woman. He had to reload his shotgun to do it. Would you like to read what they said at the trial? Or have you got a weak stomach? Morty! You know, that hammering ain't music to my ears. Can't you tell him to wait until I go to sleep or something? shot. You stay here, you get killed, old buddy. With a shotgun, like those others. Ah, Curly. Been a long time since anybody called me that. <laughs> I guess so. You're too ugly for that now. But I can remember a curly-headed kid I used to steal apples with and go swimming with, fight with. And now you want to hang me. You kill all those people? Yeah, as sure as old Glory did, they flew around there like they was rag dolls. Tate, it's not your war. No, it ain't. But I owe a debt to Morty. Why 
Why didn't you just kill him? Shot went a little high. I don't know. Maybe I wear this tin badge too long. Maybe I took him in the shoulder on purpose. You gonna stay? Why'd he do it? Love. He wanted to marry the girl. She turned him down. He killed the whole family. Switched the trigger twice. Three times. It was a big burying. Yeah. I'm gonna sway in. Just a dented tin star. It don't look like much, does it? A lot of good men have worn it, though. I raise your right hand. He won. Uh -huh. He's a cousin. I don't recollect. Hold a hand. You know what I am, Morty? Gunfighter. Now I know you uh, set a lot of store in that tin star. You want me to wear it? No. But nobody else will, and I owe you a debt. And no more than he does. I aim for your heart. The shot just went a little bit high. I was a punk kid. I could have killed you, Morty. You're a bad shot. I hope you've improved. Are you going to raise your hand? You get five dollars a day. Till tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not finished yet, Joey? No. It's just another job, Ike. You stink, Joey. Maybe I'll kill you tonight. How much you get paid on this job, Morty? $200 a month. It's a lot of money these days. Oh, your coffee. You never did make good coffee. The chicory in it. Strong. You gotta have a taste for it. I guess that goes for the job too, huh, Morty? It's as rewarding as anything. You ask yourself why you're here, and what the Lord wants you to do. You know, most lives are a waste. Doctor or preacher, that's not a waste. Maybe a peace officer. You want me to read the Bible now? Well, it wouldn't hurt. Tate, I hope you can shoot that thing. Five times without reloading, Morty. Mm -hmm. educated man used to say, a large family is a solace and a warmth to you in your time of trial. Tate, now get out. It's not your job. Joey, I had to kill your brother last night. He tried to stop me on the way in. Now, why don't you hang big and stop this slaughter? Jesse. That's right. Jesse, stop it before we have to do any more killing.
Where'd you get some sandwiches? At the Kansas City Steak Palace. <laughs> it's still there. They ain't gone no place. There's a girl over there looks a lot like your Mary. Third cousin, I think. <laughs> should have stood by you. They're afraid. You ever been afraid, gunfighter? All the time. Get out of the light. You take care of yourself. you getting paid? Five dollars plus the wood and the nails. Hmm. That covers your time. There's the wood and the nails. Pick it up, Joy. You go to Mister, I come all the way from Colorado to attend this hanging. Now I'm cold, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. Now I don't know you by your first name. But you do as friend Charlie here tells you too. I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. Pick up that money. You're taking too long. I won't tell you a third time. Now, Tate, you're tidying up some. You don't kill him by trying to stop the building of a gallows. Now go on, Charlie. The, the job's finished, Morty. It's for free. Thank you. Who are the other two? Lord knows. Nephew, cousin. Well, I'll get some food. Was watching. Want something? Yes. Give me about a half a dozen sandwiches, huh? That ham's all right. Sure. I heard somebody was coming to help Marty. I didn't believe it, though. Why not? I don't know, I just didn't believe it. I never saw a gunfighter before. You marry Eden's cousin? That's right. Her married name was Tate. She's been dead ten years. You look like her. That's what they say. Did you know her? Mm -hmm. I never saw her. I didn't move here till I was 15. We act a lot, too? Well, I can't say. It's been so long since... Since then, I can't remember anything about her except the way she looked. Sometimes I can't even remember that. You know, it's a funny thing looking like somebody else. Makes you wonder about them. You don't remember her? I mean... Do we smile alike or talk alike? You know what I mean. Well, I'd say you were just a shade prettier. You're flim flamming me. No. Nope. You owe me a dollar. Do you want some coffee? No. I'll be here any time now. 
come through that door. They'll kill you. Friend there, he's a... He's a dead man. You still got a chance to live, though. You walk away from it. You want the coffee? Morty. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing to those people. You're sorry for it? Well, in my soul, sure I'm sorry for it. That's gonna make them breathe and live and love and walk again? No! I was drunk! Son, you're liable to lose my goodwill. Where's the gunfighter? Hiding. Cripple! You got a dirty mouth, boy. I've known you since I wore knee breeches, and I don't want to kill you. Funny thing, I never even liked you. I know I never liked him.
Someday, someday, nothing. You tell me something. You figure you were worth it. Be all right? Why don't you stay around a while? I'm getting a little too old to have people shooting at me. Five dollars a day ain't nothing to be sneezed at. Well, thank you, Morty, but that chicken in your coffee would like to kill me if I took it too often. You take care, huh? Your son? Five dollars. You earned it. Thank you, Morty. This episode of the Western Television Show, Tate, starring David McLean. And remember, it's brought to you here online free by westernsontheweb.com. Well, I know you saw Hank Patterson. Hank Patterson was in everything. He was in every Western Television Show you can think of. And he is a great supporting actor. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of Tate. We hope that you'll check out all our other Western movies and TV shows on westernsontheweb.com. And remember, if you're looking to watch family-friendly Western television shows and movies that you can sit down with your kids or your grandkids or grandma and watch and not be embarrassed about it, come by and see us on westernsontheweb.com. My name's Bob Terry. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day, and we'll see you again on Down the Trail.